The State of Union Conference held by the European University Institute in Florence is a prestigious annual occurrence that focuses on Europe's latest events. There, active protagonist of two main panels on the future of European agriculture and on the geopolitical matters related to energy transition, is one of the partners of the 13th edition of the conference that will explore the theme Building Europe in Times of Uncertainty. We are in the midst of a huge transition in Europe and we are facing multiple crises and I think it's very important for business to be part and in the center of this debate. In the last four years the stocks to use ratio of food has gone down which means that globally we have consumed more grains than we actually produced. Um, there's a huge shift in the food debate we need to not no longer think about how do we produce less on less land but how do we get more from less land and this approach of sustainable intensification is missing in the original design of the Green Deal because the Green Deal has been designed under a very different paradigm. With Putin's aggression and invasion of the Ukraine, the breadbasket Ukraine was cut in half and Europe has to increase production in order to ensure global food security. I think there's a huge potential for agriculture, but the energy production agriculture should not compete with food production and it should not lead to more land use change, which in turn is not good for biodiversity. So what we have to do is we have to innovate and find crops that could be at the same time cover crops that regenerate land when nothing else grows on the land and produce energy. Bayer has introduced one of those new crops in the United States. It's pennycress. It's a wheat that is now an energy crop. So through innovation, we can really turn agriculture into something much more regenerative and also into a great source of energy and feedstocks for the chemicals industry. The problem in Europe is that the innovation requires gene editing, new breeding technologies that are not yet approved in Europe. So what Europe needs to do to fully mobilize the potential of agriculture is to welcome innovation in the area of new breeding technologies.